Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Wicked Artistry Candle Co. Light It Up Podcast. I'm your host, Tony Porter. And look, here in this new video series that we're about to launch is our Traffic Secrets uh, series. We want to discuss and show you some tips, tricks, and strategies on how you can get an ungodly amount of traffic to your website or funnel, all right? But it's just depending on how you want to go about doing it. Now, in our first video episode, we're going to talk about our dream customer, uh, building an avatar, what it takes for you to start out. And once we get to that, once we get you to that point, then you will understand that building this avatar, why you build it, why you go through everything, and uh, <clears throat> what you need to do in order for you to start driving traffic as soon as this week to your to your you know website or your funnel now um this will also help you generate more leads it will help you generate more sales it can help you generate uh and build an email list and a customer fan base but this is all about if you take some of these tips some of these some of these strategies and some of these techniques throughout the series and implement them you have to take action all right you can't just sit around and say you want to do something and don't do it you have to take action so if this is something that interests you do us a favor hit that bell notification hit the subscribe button drop us a like hit a comment leave us a comment i mean and let's get cracking all right so stay tuned we're gonna jump right into this i hope this helps you out because we're gonna drop a ton of value in a little amount of time y'all come on back you feel me Yo, we back, we are back, we are back. Welcome to the first initial episode of Traffic Secrets, the uh, Light It Up podcast, the lit way. Um, today, we're going to discuss the dream customer. Now, if you've been following me, you've seen that I've talked about this before, but we need to get into this because this is very important on why picking out and describing your dream customer, making a dream avatar is so important. People, this is very important. All right, so you might want to grab your piece of paper, get your pen, pencil. It doesn't make a difference. Marker, chalk, whiteboard. It doesn't make a difference. Jot these, jot this down. All right. So the dream customer, your avatar is who you want to target when you're selling a product, a service, anything. All right. There's a pain point. Their pain is you. They have an issue with a particular business. For me, it's with Wicked Artistry Candle Co. Homeowners, office managers, building managers, people in general have a problem with a stuffy house which smells from garbage, things like that. We want to be able to sell them candles that will help them prevent that or room sprays, or diffuser, uh, diffusers to sit inside, or even for their cars, because our room sprays is linen and room and automobile, all right? So, basically, my dream customer is, and your dream customer is, is somebody that I visual, it's not a real person, this is somebody that you visually have visualized. You've taken the time out and you've mapped this out now. You want to be able to have, start out with two. You want to have a male, you want to have a female, all right? Now, real quick, pro tip, or not even a pro tip, but this is something I learned. When I first got into this business of candles, it was a 15-minute conversation that I had, which turned into me walking into my office in my house and literally turned into me logging on to my computer going to the Secretary of State, forming this business. And I generally started out just like that, little to no money. Once I got started, I didn't have my dream customer down pat. What I did was, is I had a vision of, I wanted to sell because I always thought that it was women. Not thinking that myself and my wife uh, would always go to Yankee Candle to buy candles. All right, so not thinking, you know, as a marketer, I'm just thinking as a consumer, uh, 
that's how it was going to be. Little did I know that you basically have to depict on who you're going to sell your product to. All right, so you have to depict on who you're gonna sell your product to. So here's how you do that. You get your sheet of paper, every, you know, first time out. You can use this throughout any process, but you get your sheet of paper. All right, and you give this person a name. All right, so let's call this person, let's start out with a female, let's call uh, let's call her Jane Smith, all right, which is the typical name that everybody uses, all right? So Jane Smith is a 26, 27 year old uh, minority uh, woman with three kids who is not married, who lives in uh, a middle-class neighborhood, who makes about forty-five to fifty-five thousand a year? She drives a hybrid um, Subaru, and uh, she has a master's degree in information technology. And she also is uh, heavy off in the church. She's deep into her community. She loves the environment. She loves uh, to take her, her kids. Uh, she has, oh, I don't know if I said this. Maybe I did or maybe I didn't. If I did, I might've gave you the wrong number on the kids. But she has three kids, all right? Um, recently uh, divorced. So, I, and I'm not saying, I'm just throwing this out there. If you pay attention to what I did, all right? I gave you a name, James Smith. I told you how she was. So you need to have a name, age, marital status. And this is just, you're just making this up. Um, pay scale. The, you know, education wise. Uh, demographic on where, they, where, where she lives at. Uh, you need to uh, see how, how involved in the community how involved in the ecosystem, things like that, all of this plays a part, okay? So if you look at the age, you're probably gonna go anywhere between 25 to 55, 65 years old, all right? Because these are the folk who have either already graduated college or leaving or on the verge of graduating college, ready to start a family or have no intent to start a family uh, they could have kids. They could not have kids. You have to be able to get all of these demographics. You can paint a picture. They can be black. They can be white. It doesn't make a difference. You want to be able to draw up this avatar. You're designing the perfect person. You're designing your dream customer. So then after you go through all of that, what you basically have to do is, is you have to understand your dream customer. Uh, you want to know their interests. What are their hobbies? You know, do they ski? Do they go fishing? Do they uh, listen to uh, country music, pop music, rap music, gospel music? Um, are they heavy into the church? Are they heavy into their community? Are they in a sorority? Are they in a fraternity? Uh, are they in a, a, a secret society? Uh, are they a member of a social club? Are they a member of the glee club? It doesn't make a difference. You have to be able to depict everything that these folk do okay you have to be able to break it down almost to the very last compound and it can get as technical as if to say where they really live at like the demographic do they live in the zip code that's in california do they live in a zip code that's in texas do they live in a zip code in florida wyoming any one of the 50 states but you break it down by zip code there is a list of there, there is a list of the wealthiest zip codes people who spend the most money and then there's a list of zip codes that is poverty stricken we're not trying to downgrade anyone we're just saying that this is what we, we were studying is um hurry we get on your candle that's what we came up with i needed to know their interests i needed to know uh what a person does uh you know do they especially with the eco-friendly because you have some that want organic candles some use soy some use cocoa soy there's a whole lot of stuff that goes on when it comes to candles but your dream customer should be broken down 
into that aspect. Basically, what you want to do is, is you want your dream customer to be broken down to the fact that you know exactly how they want to live. You can even take a picture of uh, off of one of the like Pixabay and randomly put it up there. And that's your dream customer and hang that on your wall. So no matter what you're doing, you know that this is the person that you're trying to sell to. That is your dream customer. All right. It's plain and simple. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. This is who you want to sell to. All right. Now, I studied this and learned this from taking affiliate marketing and reading the book Traffic Secrets. Russell Brunson breaks this down. He goes deep into this. All right. He goes deep in, deep into your dream customer. But what I just basically told you is exactly what this book says. It tells you this is what you need to do. So Russell Brunson, people like Russell Brunson, Dean Graziotti, uh, Dean, Dean Graziotti, uh, Grant Cardone, all of these guys, uh, Tony Robbins. Uh, it is so it is so, Mary Golden. There's so many people out here that follow this strategy, follow this formula. So basically the, the strategy is, is you get your sheet of paper, you, you, you jot this down, all right? When you jot this down, the technique is now you gotta figure out how you're going to implement and get these folk. If your product is good, that's the number one thing. Your product is good, okay, but how are you gonna get people to understand what product, what service that you, they have a pain point. You are the solution. All right. They have a pain point. You're the solution. We have to figure out how we're going to get. So you have to mark out your dream customer. And once you figure out who your dream customer is, that's the first step in getting traffic generated, headed your way. All right. You understand? If you understand, I understand. Once again, man, if you like the video content that I just presented to you, do me a favor, hit the hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, drop us a like, drop us a comment. Also, understand this: we are we are going to put a link into the description if you want to get more information on a wonderful book. Hey, guess what? It's free. All you gotta do is pay for shipping. I think it's like nine ninety five. We're gonna drop you a link down below. Okay. Just, you know, and that link is just an affiliate link for me. It's, we just want to get this book into your hands. Russell was kind enough to ask and say, hey, can you help get this book out there? Yes, we can. You know, if you want to get it, it'll be a link down below. All right. Once again, man, this is your man, Tony, with Wicked Artistry Candle Co. Feature from the Light It Up podcast. Let's keep everything lit. All right. Got a, we rebranded. We got a new line coming out. Uh, be prepared. Check this out. Be prepared for the awareness campaign candles. All right, we get ready to get cracking with the uh, breast cancer awareness. We're going to start out with about 25 limited edition candles. Um, now, here's, here's, here's the best part about that. We are starting out to where the candles themselves uh, a portion of the candle proceeds goes to breast cancer awareness. We're going to run a campaign. We're going to uh, get everything done. And when we get finished, we'll, you know, we'll present a check at the end of the campaign uh, to help out with breast cancer awareness. We're going to do our part to help fight a cure. We're going to light it up for a cure, okay? We're lighting it up for a cure. So I'm going to see y'all when I see y'all, man. Y'all stay tuned. Peace.